Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So today's video is going to be a liquid lipstick review video. Uh, I have recently purchased this Juve lip cream set best of deeps lip cream collection and there are six liquid lipsticks in here uh, three of them are new three of them are from their existing line and i thought i would just do a quick review and swatch of this set which i have right here so if you're interested in the review and swatch of these jouet liquid lipsticks then please continue watching this video okay guys let's quickly get started so i got this new jouet best of deeps lip cream collection and this is one of their holiday releases this year it's a very big box but the size of the actual lipsticks is quite small so i do feel like the box is a little oversized but it's okay it's a holiday collection so i guess that's why so they have this six new shades i will go through all the shades with you in a while so this is what they say is a perfect gift set for sultry holiday nights this set contains three new never before seen deep hues and three favorite deep shades to give your holiday looks a bold boost so as you could see this is how the outside box looks like very very festive and decorative they have all the information behind and inside they have this big huge like a holder box kind of a thing where have where they have these six liquid lipsticks now each liquid lipstick is around 2 ml yeah each liquid lipstick is 2 ml which is 0 0.067 fluid ounces which i think is okay uh, as a standard mini liquid lipstick size and i always love liquid lipsticks which are smaller in size i love trying sets like this for liquid lipsticks because honestly i can never finish a liquid lipstick and i always prefer lipsticks which are smaller so i love holiday sets like this now this set i got from the cult beauty website i'll have the link in the description box i paid around 20 pounds for this which is singapore dollars roughly 36 singapore dollars which makes each lipstick which is here around six dollars so I think for UA standards, since UA lipsticks are more on the high end side, I think the price point is pretty fair. You are getting six lipsticks for 36 Singapore dollars. I think that's a good price point. Although I wouldn't say that I love all the shades right in here. I would say I love these two shades here and this one right here, which I love. And the rest are in the like category. And one is in the like, but I need to know how to work with it category. So I think that way, if all the shades don't work out for you then you are paying a bit more but i think this is a good way to try out liquid lipsticks a little bit of overview of the shades which are in here so these are the three new shades which they have in their collection so here you have this like a purpley toned lipstick and here you have a very nice nude shade and this is what they describe as a warm chocolate brown but it's more of a cool toned uh, brown for me on my skin tone i feel and here you have uh, two metallic lipsticks these are the two jouet metallic lipsticks i was really interested in trying these two so i am glad that these are included here and this is like a light warm brownish sort of a color it's a more of a nude shade on my skin tone before i proceed with the swatches a little bit about the jouet liquid lipsticks i absolutely love the formula of jouet liquid lipsticks before this set I had two more uh, lipsticks in my collection. Uh, one I tried quite some time back in 2016 and I love the formula back then as well. Uh, UA lipsticks are really really comfortable. That's what I love most about them. They are matte. They, are, they dry down completely matte. But they do not have that powdery matte kind of a texture, that gritty feel which you get with matte lipsticks. They do not have that. So I absolutely love that about these lipsticks. And they do not transfer even if you eat or drink uh, like if, if you are eating snacks if you're having coffee they do not transfer all that much you will still have a lot of color on your lips but yes if you're eating something heavy something oily then they will tend to fade from the inner portion of your lips as with all liquid lipsticks the lipsticks are really nicely pigmented but if you have pigmented lips if you're close to my skin tone uh, people with my skin tone usually tend to have pigmented lips then you do have to layer some of the lighter shades a little bit so that you have to keep in mind they are pigmented well but i think most of their nude shades are pretty light for my skin tone so you have to build up quite a bit the deeper shades are absolutely beautiful they go on very very smoothly and opaque so that i really like and the lipsticks are very very long wearing as well if you are not eating or drinking anything then they'll just last you forever that's what i have noticed even if you're eating or drinking uh, i think there is minimal fading with these lipsticks so that's what i really love 
I haven't been able to get the most variety of shades for my skin tone that's my only problem but other than that I think the formula is great the only concern and probably the only true concern which I have with these lipsticks is that these lipsticks are very long wearing but after a point of time say probably four or five hours these lipsticks do tend to dry down quite a bit they feel a little drying on the lips initially when you apply for the first few hours three four hours they will not feel drying they are very very comfortable but after a point of time they do feel a little bit drying and they t tend to emphasize the fine lines a little bit and at that point of time i'll just remove my lipstick and reapply it because reapplication is also not that easy so these lipsticks are best if you are going out for the evening like for a few hours four five hours uh, they will look great without any uncomfortable feeling you'll be able to pull them off although these liquid lipsticks are very very long wearing after a point of time i do feel like they tend to get a little bit drying i think most liquid lipsticks do but over the last few months i have also found liquid lipsticks which are not drying over a period of time so that's where i see the difference with this liquid lipsticks other than that i think the formula is great they have really nice shades so if you are someone who is looking to try UA lipsticks, you can absolutely do so. I totally recommend them. Uh, I probably myself need to try out more shades. I haven't tried too many shades from the line. But I can totally tell you that the formula is very, very good. So now that we have all the review portion out of the way, let me go ahead and show you the swatches of these six lipsticks which are there in this set on my skin tone. And I'll also let you know my thoughts on each individual shade. Okay guys, let's start off with the first shade of the set and this is what I'm wearing right now on my lips and I will be wearing all of the lipsticks on my lips as well. So this is the first shade and it is called Aubergine and very fitting to the name is the color of this lipstick. It's a very cool toned, light, purpley, lavendery sort of color and this is how it looks on my lips. To be very honest, I don't really wear lipsticks like this which are like very purpley and cool toned. Uh, I don't really prefer them but I really like the tone of this lipstick. I don't really have anything like this in my collection. So definitely I will be wearing this lip shade although I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, I think with the correct eye look and proper accessories and dress it will look nice and flattering. Definitely clashing with the accessories and the color of my top which I am having today. But nonetheless I think it's a very very interesting color to have. The next lipstick in this shade is this one which I'm wearing right now. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to butcher the name. The name of this lipstick is Cherry's Noir. And I'll have the name uh, on the screen somewhere. And this is how it looks. And this is a, such a beautiful brownish pinkish nude shade. And it's a deeper nude but it's perfect on my skin tone. I love this uh, color. This is the kind of nudes I always look for. Like a nude but with a hint of little pink and a little brown brown i think this is absolutely amazing i totally love this lipstick and it's very very wearable i think for everyday use it's perfect and i'm so happy that this is a shade which has been included in this set uh, i forgot to mention that the previous shade also was a new shade and this uh, shade also is a new shade in the line so this is the second shade in the set that's a tongue twister and i absolutely love this one Let's look at the next shade now and it is this shade which I'm wearing right now. It is the shade Truffle and this also is a new shade in the line and this as you can see is a very very cool toned grayish brown more on the gray side and this is also one of the shades which I don't think I will normally pick. It's because it's there as a part of this set that I'm trying it. Uh, although I don't really wear cool toned colors like this, like grayish colors. This also I think is a really interesting shade. This one reminds me of the shade uh, Brooklyn from Ofra. Although that one I think is a little bit more brownish. Uh, but, but both of them are very like cool toned grayish shade. So this also I think it's a really cool shade. I don't have anything like this in my collection. And after wearing I am really liking it. I think with the proper eye look and accessories, I think this kind of a shade will also look great. So this is the next shade in the set and it's called the shade Noise It. And this is how it looks. It's a completely like a pure nude shade. I've always felt like the Jouer nudes, they are pretty nude for my skin tone, like light for my skin tone. And this is how this shade looks like. Uh, although it is supposed to be a deep nude, I think it's still pretty nude on my skin tone and it's definitely washing me out to a certain extent. I can make it work using a deeper lip liner. I haven't worn any lip liner here. But although it's washing me out to a certain extent, but I still feel that it is 
wearable with a darker lip liner i will still be able to pull it off it's a very very pretty nude so if you're not comfortable with this kind of a washed out look you are probably not going to like this like if you're close to my skin tone but i think if you're a little lighter than me this is going to be a very nice perfect nude on your skin tone the actual shade is really really pretty i just need to figure out how i'm going to make it work for me and i just wish that this was a tad bit deeper especially for my skin tone but nonetheless i got to try this nude shade and it's really beautiful okay guys down to the last two shades of this set and these are the two shades i was really excited to try so these are two metallic shades which are there in this uh, set the first one is dahlia which i'm wearing right now and this is this very metallic electric plummy sort of a purpley color although this lipstick is a metallic lipstick but i don't really see specks of glitter or anything this just like a smooth metallic sheen on your lips so i absolutely love it i was not really sure how i would feel about glitter on my lips but i absolutely love the finish which this kind of a metallic lipstick has it is smooth it feels like a matte lipstick but it has like a sheen to it you know so i think i really love the metallicness of these lipsticks the formula is really good it's metallic but it's not overly metallic i don't really prefer like super shiny lips i think this one has a subtlety to it like it is a matte lipstick but with a metallic twist you know what i mean so i definitely like this i wouldn't mind purchasing the full size of this and here is the last shade of the set and this is this very bright metallic cranberry reddish sort of a color it's a very very pretty color i was looking forward to this one the most this is such a beautiful metallic lipstick i absolutely loved it i think this is going to be perfect for any kind of christmas parties which you are going to attend any kind of festivities i think this is a stunning stunning color this lipstick also as you can see it's metallic but it is like understated metallic so that's what i absolutely loved about these jue metallic liquid lipsticks and i also feel that this one may be a little bit more metallic looking than the previous one maybe because of the color i don't know but nonetheless i think this one looks great as well and this one also i think i will not mind repurchasing i absolutely loved this metallic lipstick formula from jue and this shade is so stunning as well so those were the swatches of this six shades right here my favorites you might already know have to be this one this one and this one these two metallic shades are really really pretty these are absolute fine i will check out some more of the metallic lipsticks they have and this nude brownie shade is a very pretty everyday friendly nude shade which i have found so these three shades i will definitely recommend the other are depending on your choice on your skin tone uh, these two work on my skin tone pretty well but depending on your choice uh, or your preference you might not uh, like these two shades and depending on your skin tone this may or may not work for you so that's a pretty much round up of all the shades from this line do let me know if you're someone who is planning to pick up this set i would love to know and do let me know your thoughts on juve lipsticks as well other than that i think that's it for today's video that's all i have for you today uh if you like this video and it was helpful then i really hope you'll give this video a thumbs up that really helps my channel a lot and if you're watching me for the first time i really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel as well and yeah i think that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching my best of 2017 videos are coming up next so stay tuned i will see you guys really soon in my next video bye